M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So you've got yourself an Anytone 578 and you just want to load a code plug on it. So uh, get yourself a code plug from somewhere like this or your local ham radio seller. Um, download the CPS software, I'll put the link in. Once you've downloaded that and run it and installed the driver, you will end up with a window that looks like this. And then all you do to load that code plug is go file, open, Go to the file you've received. I've received uh, this one. So let's double click it. Now it's going to be quite, if it's full of stuff like most of these code plugs are, it's going to take a couple of minutes to load. So let's just pause until that loads. So it's loaded up. So what you need to do is get your DMR number in there. Click digital and I'm pretty sure radio ID here. Get your DMR number in here where it says one. So let's just say it's one, two, three, four, five for now and your call sign underneath M0FXB. And that's it, and really you just want to add your your, um, your hotspot, that's really, because all the repeaters will be in there. So go to zones here, and you've got hotspot here. Channel number 52 is in there. So go to channel just above that. Go to channel 52, like so. Double click it, and put your hotspot frequency in there. So call it my hotspot and then put your frequency in here like so that's the hotspot 433300 like so you've got that in there talk talk group line is good but you can change which talk group you want to connect that channel to but talk group nine for starters uh digital you got your call sign. I would do color code one, slot two, and then I would okay it, and that's it. You've got your hotspot in there. So when you turn the radio on, go to zone called hotspot, and you are going to have your your hotspot in there. Now, what I would recommend you do is remove all the other ones. So I'll just show you how to do that. Just double click hotspot, go to the bottom, and then just click the back arrow. I just remembered we've still got to add in add that into that hotspot we've just changed or channel 55 in so delete all these leave 55 in there was it 55 or 52 let's check so click let's leave one in there like so click ok go back to hotspot it's not in there at the moment go back to the channel and the one we changed was 52 look there it is there 52 so go to zone go to um, double click zone like so, double click hotspot, go down and look for 52, that's what you're looking for. Uh, 52 on the left, 52, send it across like so. Then see the one that you don't want, click it and send it back. And then click OK. So you've now got a dedicated zone for your hotspot and any more hotspots you might want to add. So I hope this helps you out. 7-3, thanks for watching, all the best.